All right, we are back. Ken Wingard is here and standing next to him, the winner of our Home and Family Ultimate Craft Who knew? Who knew? Amber Kemp Gerstel. I'm so excited, you guys. This is bananas. All I want to do is just have you give me some lotto numbers because you're so lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the lotto. Yeah, right. you, you should. You really should. <laughs> Um, you guys are getting together. You're going to put together, um, you know, a really wonderful DIY project here. Um, what, why did you vote for her? Or why? What did you see? Well, I don't know. No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I adore. Well, what did you see? There, there are two things that I really like about Amber. One is that, like, she's a viewer. She's a, 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 a mom at home who views, who crafts on her spare time. She is like, when, I, when I'm talking to the camera, when I'm talking out there, it's I'm me. talking to, to you, to Absolutely. who you personify. So that made me happy. Um, and your projects, I thought your projects had a way of taking things that were very traditional, <laughs> like the picnic, the picnic box and the pencils, and giving them a really modern sort of current flair that could work, because our viewers are everywhere. So you've got sort of a house in sort of rural America. You've got someone in a New York apartment. Right. And I think that they sort of spanned and you're from Everything. Miami. Yeah, I exactly. Suppose. I like to give things a little modern twist so everyone can see that, yes, crafting makes sense for me. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, this is something I can do. And that's exactly what you guys are doing today. You're taking something and giving it a modern twist with a yeah. bunch of shims. It's shims. shims. All right, I'd like to say that word. Trend shims. update. I'm going to call it. We're breaking now a trend update. That's right. <laughs> a trend update. A trend, uh, yeah, it's just a very trendy thing, right? Footage of what it looked like. Yeah. When you so got I know everyone has seen this before. It's always in the background. I think seriously, we did this like first half of season one. It was an old dresser. It looks great. That. It looked well, great. It looked great but, then. Was well, it well, but it's got four it. years of us setting things on it, bumping into yeah. it. It's full of like ribbon and crepe paper. So decide. Let's update this. This shows you that like you can continually update things like do a project let it last for a few years do it again yeah. so all right how did, how, how did you use the shims well we're gonna show you and why the shims but look at her she's like well, I'm we're gonna, gonna show, show you, you. but the shims are just so inexpensive you know you can go to the hardware store and pick up a pack of these for what two, two that was 250 exactly 250 and so for these 12. are readily available really un inexpensive and you see here they are you know they kind of go from high to low and they're usually used to kind of even out things so mm -hmm. if something's a little off kilter right. that's what you use them that's for caddy, that's not what we're using I'm them sorry caddy wampus oh right. Unless you're younger, then it's Kitty Wampus. Right. Patty Wampus. Yeah. <laughs> or you could use Let's it for look at you style. guys and right. what you did earlier today to this dresser. So you're going to gather up all of your supplies, and then you're going to take your dresser and start painting it. And if you have a friend named Ken, go ahead and ask him oh. to help you out. <laughs> Next thing you're going to do is mark the center point of the drawer front. And that's where you're going to start laying out your, your shim. Now, well, you don't want to use nails on this because you don't want any holes in the front. So use wood glue. Lay down a thick bead all the way across. Find that center mark and line up the thick end of the shim on that and then just do thick side to thin side, thick side to thin side. Come back, find the middle of one shim and put your next thick side, lay your bead of glue, and then once you've done those two measurements, everything else just sort of goes right along. You know, glue, shim, glue, shim, glue. It, it starts going really fast once you start it. Very, very fast. Well, you guys are really And there you go. Next <laughs> thing you want to do is grab your drill and from the inside out, start drilling holes. That's where your knobs are going to go. The last thing we did was we wanted to make sure we protected this, this from all those kid handprints and all the wear and tear. So lay down a layer of polyurethane, just a thin layer, and that will protect it from every, everyday use. And there you have it. Okay. Yay! <laughs> you give a high five. High five wow. all around. <laughs> but here's the thing. The shims are now Hanging right, because they're not they're not going to line up. So you need to trim them. But before we do that, I just want to talk just for a second about the sort of lack of color. Because people have asked, are you going to stain it? Are you going to paint it? Um, I think the beauty of these shims is the natural wood. Me so too. many things are artificial mm -hmm. these days. So when you find this wood, it's great. Um, and I think to stain it, sometimes when you stain things, it actually mm -hmm. cheapens it. So I agree. to really get a sort of high end modern Danish look, leave it raw. Put the clear coat on to protect it from you know. So you want to protect it, not when you say leave exactly. It. Okay. But leave that that natural wood. Sure. Now I'm just going to use our battery oh, powered circular saw. You could also use a yeah. jigsaw. You could use a hand saw. Okay. And you're just going to like super easy line up the blade with the edge of the um, drawer and. Wow. There you go. Well, there I'm glad go. you put on the protective Perfect. eyewear. Next time we should ask the cameraman to also protective eyewear. All right. You want to take over there, Amber? Yeah. So the last thing we're going to do is just add the knobs. And because we added those okay. uh, those holes right through the front, all you need to do is poke it right through the front and twist it on. And once, you're, once you've got it going, you can grab a drill or even just a, a screwdriver. I would have done hand. something like, oh, just get a wooden knob. But oh, like, he's hot, though, right? Oh, right. So it really gives it yeah. a modernish feel that the metal 
Yeah, the knob right. that you choose is all up to you. It's all about your style, right. and that's a really good way to personalize right. it. And just uh, just a couple of procedural notes if you're actually doing this. We did a certain way for the show, but I would actually saw it first, sand the edges, and then put on your clear coat. Um, I see what you saw. That looks so cool, well, and I love like, the orange. That's such a great juxtaposition. I don't think it would have looked as nice if it was stained. How much did really, this cost? Right. Um, yeah. It cost like 40 bucks, under 40 bucks. So those really, are serious. Really, really? Was the yeah. paint and that? Yeah, that was and that's if you went out and bought paint and bought hardware. But look how, like, look how fancy wow. it looks. Wow. This is like a whole, like, West Elm, like, $600 dress. No, you're not kidding. It did really you, what is. What was it, the money you had left over from well, here? And we still have money left yeah. over. Yeah. We're getting yeah. cocktail 